Hello. Today I would like to talk about the history of slavery. Ah, uh, finger quotes. You know I'm up to something here. Um, so I've mentioned in past videos that history, by definition, it's there are written records of it. So we have prehistory where we know people existed, but they left cave paintings or, you know, arrowheads or whatever, but they didn't write anything down for us. Proto-history where that's actually where more of the cave paintings would come in, but, you know, there are little symbols written, you know, attempts to write a story or whatever, but nothing that we would consider a language per se. So we get your know, pictographs and stuff like that, which tell a story, but don't go into detail. And then we got history, where we got an actual written language. And, you know, we can compare stuff. And as I mentioned, history is somewhat interpretive. You know, we... We don't believe that the Greek myths happened, but we do believe that the Greeks believe they happened. And we can get some information regarding their life and, you know, ah, uh, you know, Hercules went to war with this nation, so this part of Greece was at war with that part of Greece, and we can, we, we can, we can pull some information out of stuff like that. And then there are stuff which are actual records. And so that's what, you know, I, I am not going to try to go back and, you know, give a detailed history of slavery, but I am going to look at how history, or how, how history has recorded slavery. Because I think that's important. So, we know, you know, we can go back to ancient times. And there are records of slavery. Now, most of these records would be in the form of merchant records. You know, actually tax records, not so much merchant records. We don't have a lot of merchant records, we have tax records. Or, in some cases, government contracts. And so we have, you know, Joe the Merchant brought in, you know, paid taxes on 15 bushels of wheat and 3 rolls of silk and 10 slaves. So we know slavery exists, and we can we can get some idea of what value was on them based on what the taxes on them were, and we can get some information like that. Uh, we also have some ancient civilizations did have laws pertaining to slaves, and that's you know the other thing that ancient civilizations you know they wrote down their laws, some of them, and so we can get some idea of how slaves were treated and. An estimate of how important they were on society and stuff like that. Um, but that's about it. Uh, you know, we don't have the day-to-day -day life of a slave so much. Um, we might, you know, government building project and they wanted so many slaves to do it and there might be a record of that. Or there might not. Um, you know, there are still people who argue whether or not the pyramids were built by slaves or not. Um, and to be fair, there isn't really a record of, you know, the Pharaoh called for so many thousand slaves. It's just, we, we, we assume, because it, 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 it seems like, you know, from what we know of the engineering they had, which, again, people want to question that as well. And from what we know, you know, how would we do this with manpower? Because, you know, pe people argue, you know, they didn't have levers, they didn't have, or they understood the basics of the levers, but they didn't have a lot of wood. And so, how, how, how do you lift a three-ton block with a lever when you don't have wood. And some people have argued, well, they would have imported wood because the pyramids were so important. And other people say, no, they would have slaves push this block up a ramp. So like that, we, 
We know slavery did exist in Egypt from some of the records. We don't really know that slaves built the pyramids because they didn't come out and say it. Um, it's assumed. Um, not a bad assumption altogether, but um, we don't really have a record per se of it. Uh, we keep moving forward in time. We, um, you know, Romans and Greeks gave a little more detail on some of their stuff. Uh, still, most of their records regarding slaves were about how you become a slave. You know, guy charged into a crime, sold into slavery. War prisoners were often made slaves. Debtors could become slaves. So, you know, they had, they had laws regarding slavery like, you know, other ancient civilizations did. And based on those laws, based on other information, which again, we're, we're still relying largely on tax records, trade information, stuff like that. Um, so we don't have the day-to-day -day life of a slave so much. Um, Move it forward, yeah, we keep moving forward. And that, that that's going to be the pattern throughout for a while, is tax records and whatever laws were written, you know. As we move forward, as records, you know, the farther back you go in time, the less records we have. You know, we find a large cache of stone tablets and we think, you know, it's the greatest thing in the world just because we don't have a lot of records from the past. Um, over time, things get destroyed. Uh, like I said, stone tablets because, again, paper gets destroyed easier than stone. So, I, they, they probably did keep more records than we have in the past. They just didn't, the record just didn't survive. Now, 1400s, 1500s, 1600s, the Barbary pirates were invading Europe. And they were capturing people and selling them as slaves. Um, this is you know, the, the slave trade, modern slave trade, and when I say modern, I mean, you know, past few hundred years, pretty much got started like this, so far as history goes. Again, were people going out and capturing slaves and moving them about um, in the ancient world? We have some record of that, or we can take some guesses at that based on the records we have. But we don't really have a, you know, this is the slave route between Mesopotamia and Egypt, or we don't have the details that we would have, we would want. If such a, you know, if, if such things existed, which, you know, it's reasonable to assume they did exist just because throughout history, humans have been jerks and um, slavery, uh, enslaving people, going out, capturing people and selling them as slaves is sort of a jerk thing to do. But um, we don't have the record of it. So it, it doesn't seem like it happened as much just because we don't have the record of it. That's sort of where I'm going with this. So we get to the Barbary Pirates now we have slavers who are mostly Muslims living in Africa and um, the slaves who were mostly Europeans. But we, we would have records, you know, town records of pirates came, they raided the town, they captured so many people and took them down and sold them in Africa. So yes, slavery was taking place in Africa. Uh, we have historical reference. We don't talk about it, but it was happening. Now, this is where it, you know, like I said, the modern day big business slavery got started. And this is, this is where Europeans learned it as big business. So we, we want to complain about, oh, you know, Europeans came and they, you know, went into Africa and captured slaves and sold them. We learned it from Africans, and some of these would have been, you know, they, these were for the most part Muslim, but think about the Muslim world, they weren't racist back at the time, so 
they were spreading their religion. Some of them were Arabs, some were black, some were white. There were white Muslims in the time, you know. So to say, oh, that was just an Arab thing. No, it wasn't. It was a, a Muslim thing. And that race back at the time, race was not black and white. It was not skin color. It was culture. It was, the you know, religion was a big part of it. It was, you know, national boundaries. These French and English considered themselves a different race at this time because they, they were different nations. They had different culture. You know, the religions were more similar, so they were closer racist than the Christians and the Muslims were, but they were still considered different races. So, you know, we can point out and say, yes, this was race-based slavery by the definition of race at the time. And saying it was race-based slavery does not exclude, you know, what we would call racist modern day. So there were black people buying European slaves in Africa back at the time. There were, you know, eight Muslims buying, or Arab buying European slaves at the time. So this, this is basically, like I said, Europeans did have slavery at the time too. Uh, this was largely paying debts and stuff like that. Um, but the idea of going out and capturing people and selling them is something we learned from the Barbary pirates. So we now have The European slave trade gets started. This is where the triangle trade gets started and all this horrible stuff we learn about in history. Difference is we, like I said, it was big business. We started treating it as a business, which meant people kept business records. And remember, we're talking about history here. History was what was written down. So it looked a lot worse, not because it was worse, but because we had more records. It was more recent, um, and so the records survived more. You know, they didn't have as much chance to get destroyed, so we have more records. Um, speaking of slavery in Africa, like I said, the African, Native Africans didn't keep records of it as much. We do have European records, you know, travelers from Europe going there, slaves from Europe going there who later escaped, maybe. Um, for some reason, people don't want to take these seriously. <clears throat> now, one argument for this is, well, they treated every all the slaves as chattel slaves, and they weren't all chattel slaves, and they weren't, you know, there were criminals were slaves, war prisoners were slaves, you know, people who were in debt were slaves, but this happened in Europe as well as in Africa. And there were also chattel slaves in Africa. But our record of it, again, was written by Europeans, and no one wants to trust the Europeans for some reason on this. Uh, weren't as many records of it, because again, like I said, the European records of trade of slavery were more business records than anything else. And so writing our observations of other people wasn't as important as writing how much profit someone made or so we got the idea of slave trade as business from the Barbary pirates but we kept better records than they did and so therefore it looks like we did it more than them because more records exist at the same time the abolitionist movement got started in the late, late 1700s. So we have another group of people writing about slavery and how it should end. And so again, some of them are going to exaggerate. Some of them are going to write, you know, some will be honest. So, you know, oh, the American slavery was so much worse than the African slavery. Well, again, not according to the people who wrote about the African slavery, but we don't want to take their word for it. And we have to consider that some of the people writing about the American slavery were biased. You know, they were abolitionists. Um, I'm not saying slavery was a good thing, but I'm saying the abolitionists did have, have an axe to grind and might have exaggerated more than 
was you know more than be honest let's say um, we do know a few things about uh, American slavery um, it was possible for slaves to buy their freedom it wasn't easy but it was possible well, how does that work well for one thing slaves could own the property I mean how can I buy you how, how, how can I buy my freedom if I can't own money well how do I get money well I go out I do my work on the plantation whatever when that's done I go down to the neighbor's house and I chop wood and he gives me a quarter for a few hours work or whatever so that would tell us wait a second I thought slavery, you were up at the break of day, you worked all day in the hot sun, you came in, you had a bowl of gruel, and you slept for, you know, waiting to be woken up the next day. And some plantations were run that way, others weren't. Uh, that's another thing from history you get is some of the slaves actually liked their masters in America because they weren't bad people. In some cases, they were better than the masters they would have gotten if they were sold back in Africa. Um, so this, this is all part of historical record, you know, we got Negro spiritual songs, which, you know, some of them are, they were happy, happy to work for their master or sad that their master died because, you know, now, uh oh, we might get sold and the guy down the road is the worst guy to work for. Um, so this, this idea that American slavery was somehow worse than other slavery, you know, we just have more record of it. And so we can, and yeah, you know, like I said, in some cases more biased records perhaps. Okay. Would I want to be a slave? No, I'm not, I'm not saying slavery is a good thing, but I am saying that you know the history of it, we pick and choose what we want to look at. And so the history of slavery is a lot different than um, what we want. You know, it seems worse than it was in the ancient world because we have more records of it. You know, ancient world, ooh, half our records in the ancient world were laws protecting slaves' rights. And, you know, in America, we had some laws protecting slaves' rights, just not as, you know, they just didn't seem as good because we had the other stories too, you know. We had the diary written, oh, you know, Pop, you know, daddy bought three new slaves and they did this and this. And so, you know, because a diary survived. People were writing diaries in the more modern time. They weren't writing them in the ancient world as much. Um, so we get, we get more description of the life of a slave. And for some reason, we assume that it was worse now because we have this all this extra detail than it was hundred years ago, or, you know, a thousand years ago, I should say. Because hundred years ago is what we're talking about now, actually. Um, indentured servitude was slavery, like 80% of the time. And we, 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 we want to make a big distinction between, oh, there were no white slaves in America. Those were indentured servants. But go back and actually read the history, and indentured servitude was a con, like 80% of the time. There are these big prom promises come, I, I will pay for you to go to the Americas and work for me for so many years. And then you, know, you can get your freedom and you can go out and you can buy your own land and become your own master. Except for, and this is something, you know, again, we have written record of this and people making complaints about it. when your time of service was up oh by the way i gave you room and board and that wasn't part of the original contract so you gotta work for me for another three or four years to make up for that and in the caribbean you know as this was going on the caribbean the islands of the caribbean were pretty much split up they were subdivided as far as they could go. So this great promise of, oh, there's land you can buy when they set you free, it didn't exist. You know, the island, the islands were subdivided up. The only way you could buy land was if someone wanted to sell land that they already owned. 
it wasn't this free land you can go and the government would let you take over. North America was a little different. You know, the, the colonies had a certain amount of land given to them by charter, but there was other land you could expand into maybe. You know, we can write back to the king and say, look, the colony's getting full. Can we move our colony's borders? And then the indentured, saver, indentured servants could buy up some of this new land, perhaps. So there was a chance, there's a better chance on the North American content, continent than there was in the Caribbean islands of getting free as an indentured servant. Now, an interesting thing, um, there was a newspaper article in a Virginia newspaper back in the 1700s, runaway slaves, and there's a reward for these runaway slaves, and description of them, and some of them were white. So yes, there were white slaves in the New World. And the, the idea, oh, these were indentured servants and they were treated different than other slaves. Not necessarily. When they got over here, you know, like I said, indentured servitude was a con which the slavers were basically, come over here and you'll get your freedom eventually. All you got to do is work for it. And it ends up, no, 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 this is actually a big con we're pulling on you and you're not going to get your freedom. You're going to be a slave once you get over there because you're going to owe everything to us. Oh, by the way, this newspaper article, well, not article, but ad, you know, George Washington put it in the paper. So yes, George Washington owned slaves, and some of them, by his own admittance, were white. So the idea that um, all slaves were black in America and you know, the white ones were indentured servants and they had this good life coming to them was a lie. George Washington himself admitted that some of his slaves, called them slaves by you know that word, were white. That's sort of why I bring this up. You know, that's why I'm talking about this. Um, we've gotten this weird... There, there, there are people today who, like I said, slavery is not a bad thing. And I, I will admit, slavery was worse on black people in America than on whites. But there are people who want to claim that the slavery, the, our more modern slavery, was worse than the slavery of thousands of years ago. And I point out, no, we have better records of it. We have a better description of it. Just because we don't know exactly what was happening thousands of years ago and how much suffering the slaves went through, doesn't mean that they weren't suffering. Yet we just kept better records of it. So to say American slavery, you know, modern slavery was worse than ancient slavery, no, we, we can't say it. But there, there are groups of people trying to say this now, saying that somehow the slavery of the, you know, 200 years ago was worse than any other slavery in history. We don't know that. Now, I also put slavery in finger quotes because slavery still goes on today. We call it human trafficking. We call it all sorts of other stuff. We don't want to use the word slavery because somehow it, it lessens the impact of historical slavery or, no, it, it's, it's worse than historical slavery in many cases. Um, people are, most, you know, human trafficking slavery is it's still a lar largely chattel slavery in many ways. It is sex slavery, which you know, you know pe people are being raped, and we don't want to call it slavery. We, and also, along the you know the historical thing, we have less record of it. We we learn about it when police raid a human trafficking organization. And that's it. You know the. Modern day slavers, the human traffickers, aren't keeping records like they did hundreds of years ago. And so the history of modern slavery, you know, human trafficking, call it what you will, it's, you know, we're going to find this weird dip in it. Because again, we're, we're going to the point where the only records of it are official law enforcement records. And yes, we're going to be, you know, I'm sure some people have laws written about it. But when it comes down to the actual life, you know, the, the people 
who are suffering from human trafficking. Some of them are writing about it when they get free. Others are too emotionally scarred to write about it. Um, the people practicing it, the, the slavers, the modern day slavers, they aren't keeping records of it because, you know, that's evidence. That can be used against them. They, they aren't keeping records of it. So slavery still goes on. We don't call it slavery now, and we don't have a record of it. Um, it's arguably worse than it was. And, you know, who's doing it? it? It's not an entirely white thing. It's, you know, people of all races are doing it from what we can gather from, you know, the police reports and stuff. That, you know, the stuff we, we do hear about publicly, everyone's doing it. Or not, not everyone, but every race is doing it. Every, you know, we can't point to one group and say, they're the, they're, they're the bad guys. Everyone's the bad guys in these cases. And so, I, I, like I said, slavery is a big issue today and reparation and all this other stuff, except we have a big, you know, we're, we're trying to describe slavery in this big blanket terms which ignore the history of slavery. And if we go back and we look in the details of history, you know, the history of slavery, then the narratives people are writing or, you know, people are arguing about, um, they aren't as true. There, there's truth to them, yes. But, you know, pe people are picking and choosing what they want to look at to make their side look good, to make their argument look good, to make their race look good in some cases. And uh, again, um, just wanted to bring that up. That came up. Um, so, like I said, history in quotes because we are dealing with the actual definition of history, written records, and slavery in quotes because we have to include stuff we don't call slavery today because... Let's, let, let's face it, human trafficking is slavery in most cases. We just don't want to call it that because people have an axe to grind, and so slavery is this whole, you know, the sacred cow word that must only be used in one way, when it doesn't. You know, it, it, if, if we look at slavery as slavery and be more open with the word, and, you know, as it is used with the historical records, it's got a wider definition than we want to use today. And that's all I had to say. Have a nice day.